Kristoff aired grievance after grievance after grievance and made an obvious grab for the spotlight that for much of the day yesterday was owned by his disgraced EPA administrator, Scott Pruitt. Pruitt resigning amid a sea of ethical scandals and withering criticism from across the ideological spectrum. Trump, who one close friend and outside advisor once described as the Sun King because he wants all of the media's attention for himself, lashed out at the press, at John McCain, at George H.W. Bush, the FBI, Democrats, and the Me Too movement. Democrats want anarchy. They really do. We call them the Democrat Party. You know why? The Democratic Party sounds too good. Yes, she is a low IQ individual, Maxine Waters. I said it the other day. I, I mean, honestly, she's somewhere in the mid-60s, I believe that. Let's say I'm debating Pocahontas, right? I'm going to get one of those little kids. And in the middle of the debate, when she proclaims that she's of Indian heritage because her mother said she has high cheekbones, we will take that little kit and say, but we have to do it gently because we're in the Me Too generation, so we have to be very gentle. <laughs> and we will very gently take that kit and we will slowly toss it, hoping it doesn't hit her and injure her arm. I will give you a million dollars to your favorite charity, paid for by Trump, if you take the test and it shows you're an Indian. How about that FBI agent? How about that guy? You think he likes me? Oh, did we catch them in the act? It's a rigged deal, folks. It's a rigged deal. I used to say it. It's a rigged deal. It's a disgrace. 75% of those people are downright dishonest. Downright dishonest. They're fake. They're fake. Ay, ay, ay. Where's Melania? But Trump saved a warm fuzzy for, you guessed it, Vladimir Putin. They're going, will President Trump be prepared, you know, President Putin is KGB and this and that. You know what? Putin's fine. He's fine. We're all fine with people. Will I be prepared? Totally prepared. I've been preparing for this stuff my whole life. They don't say that. They don't say that. We are all people. You get that? Trump's war his authoritarian counterpart come as White House aides confirm that Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin will meet one-on-one -on -one with no one other than translators in the room. New York Times writing, quote, there's no telling what Mr. Trump, a president who abhors long briefing papers and often disregards or defies the advice of his advisors, will choose to say while he is alone with Mr. Putin, a prospect that puts some of his aides and experienced diplomats inside and outside the government on edge. Here to help us understand the ties that seem to bind Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin, some of our favorite reporters and friends. Peter Nicholas, White House reporter for the Wall Street Journal. Kimberly Atkins, chief Washington reporter for the Boston Herald. Frank Figluzzi, former FBI assistant director for counterintelligence. And with us at the table, Jonathan Lemire, Associated Press White House reporter. And Evan McMullen, former CIA operative and uh, former candidate for president as an independent. Um, uh, the rally. Even his friends described that version of Donald Trump as slightly pathetic, as someone who is so desperate for attention, so desperate for the cheers and, and hoots and hollers from the crowd that he puts on a show that really isn't even um, remotely close to anything presidential. Yeah, there's a show on Comedy Central where a guy basically makes an entire show out of impersonating the president and almost felt like Donald Trump was doing that impersonation of himself right. rather than being him. He was so over the top. Right. And I've covered between the campaign and since taking office dozens upon dozens, a hundred of these rallies. And I'm surprised at my ability to still be surprised. But I was by the Me Too movement there with Elizabeth Warren. That he would to, to try to make a joke about something that has obviously you know, been a groundswell uh, in the last year or so for a lot of people. It has meant a lot of people. Women have come forward with their stories. But let's also recall that this is a president who himself has been accused of sexual assault repeatedly, who we heard on the Access Hollywood tape brag about doing so, who just yesterday, the day of this rally, he made the...
example of Bill Shine, for, who now is new communications director, who previously was at Fox News, being drummed out for covering up these exact kind of escapades of sexual harassment. And last night, that was the most perhaps stunning moment, but there were, there were several. Well, you know what, stay with it, because I saw sure. some polling today that even among women, uh, Republican women, his, his approval number is 20 points lower than his approval rating among Republican men. I think he has 54% approval either among men or among Republican men, and he has about a 34% approval among women. So that plays right into this opportunity to steal women from the, the independent and Republican Right. categories in the midterms. That has to make people like Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell very nervous to see of that. Course. Of course. Women, president. suburban women in particular, that I mean, that's not a hand the Republican Party wants to be dealt going into this, this fall's midterms. And you would think that Donald Trump, though he, you know, had success to a degree in 2016 with that with Republican women that he would not want to like lose any of he can't afford to hemorrhage any right. of that support going into his reelection bid. So that I mean that was the most dramatic moment. But also let's recall we are just days after a newspaper was shot up in Annapolis, Maryland, and number of people died. And we took Donald Trump 24 hours to sort of express his sympathies to the you know, to personally to express his sympathies for the victims and to defend the sort of rights of the free press. And here we are just days later. He's back on his usual fake news attacks. Um, Kimberly Atkins, our viewers can't see you, but I can see you nodding. Let me just let you weigh in on, on any and all of that. No, I think that Jonathan is spot on. Look, we have the president who also is at uh, a place. He's about to appoint his second Supreme Court justice in his first term. That's something that few presidents get to do. He's about to go to NATO uh, and represent the United States there. Uh, there are a lot of things for him to be talking about, but you can see he is at his most comfortable place at these rallies uh, doing what he thinks that crowd wants, which is attacks on Elizabeth Warren, which includes not only a, a joke about the Me Too movement, but also his favorite uh, 